Clover Frederick is going to talk about a world without nonprofits. <clears throat> I can relate to nonprofits. <laughs> Clover, are you ready? All right, Clover Frederick. Testing. Awesome. That works. All right. Hi, my name is Clover Frederick, as you just heard, and I have the great pleasure of getting to work with nonprofits all the time to tell Lincoln about the great missions that they do. And uh, what, some of the things that I've learned is that even our whole United States actually uh, benefits a lot from nonprofits. We have 1.9 million nonprofits in the United States, and um, they result in about 7% of the gross national product, and 14 million people working in nonprofits, 80 million people volunteering. And these are nonprofits that we all care about. They're causes we care about, like um, feeding children and um, keeping our environment clean, those very basic needs that we have. Um, but even right here in Lincoln, the, the statistics vary, but we have at least 554 nonprofits busy working in Lincoln. And uh, in Nebraska, we have 85,000 or more employee, people who are employed by nonprofits. Uh, about half of us here in Lincoln volunteer, which is really great to hear. But I think it's important for us to imagine what Lincoln would be like without these nonprofits. We certainly have homeless people on our streets, but imagine the, the sheer number of homeless that we would have on our streets. And while we're serving food at the soup kitchen, we would actually be seeing people starve, die of starvation. Uh, we have this circle, um, this, this cycle of uh, addiction that, ten, that is breaking down people's lives. We have people who are sick with no place to go um, and no ability to pay for treatment. We have cats and dogs. We, could, we would have cats and dogs running rampant, no safe place for them to stay. Animals going extinct. Uh, dirty, overgrown parks and no safe water to drink. Um, we would have children living in fear. When they're at school, they're afraid to go home. When they're at home, they're afraid to go to school. We have our grandparents who are feeling abandoned and, uh, and lonely and hungry. And people continue to persecute others for the color of their skin and discriminate them against them based on their gender. And people hating others for who they love. It's a very bland existence, void of color, and music, but what, what the nonprofits want more than anything, believe it or not, is to eliminate their need for existence. Imagine, if you will with me, a society that could behave in a way where our world is filled with art that opens our eyes and brings us closer together and more tolerant of any ever, excuse me, everyone. People are free to be who they are and treated with respect because of their differences. A world where we're free to love who we want to love without fear. Where every child feels loved and safe, both at home and at school. Where moms are treated fairly by their dads, <laughs> by their husbands, and that our grandparents are taken care of and feel, feel loved as families. Where every pet has a warm home, every animal has uh, a safe habitat, and our native land is cherished, and our city is filled with green space where we can run and play safely. This cycle of addiction is broken, and people are healing, families are healing, lives are healing. Every person is healthy, and if they're not, quality care is available to, them, available to them despite their status. And every person has a warm home and a stomach full of nutritious food. And you know, these hard working people at nonprofits would all gladly give up their jobs if the need for their nonprofit did not exist anymore. So it may be sort of childlike to imagine this, and it might be naive to think of Lincoln without nonprofits. But I, want you, I urge you to think about what you can do to make Lincoln a place where we do not need nonprofits. It could be like my friend Rick Carter, 
um, where he, sa he just said, just today, he said, I may not get to see the end of childhood hunger in my lifetime, but gosh darn it, I'm going to try. And until then, will you make change with me? Will you open your wallet? Will you donate your talent? Will you volunteer your time? Kind of like my friend Robert Eggert here, who started DC Central Kitchen, that not only helps feed the hungry and the homeless, but teaches them a skill so that they can go out and um, have a way out of homelessness. Or will you be like my children here, who would donate their own allowance money to do something good for others? Will you do today, what will you do today to make Lincoln a better place, just like our nonprofits? Thank you. Thanks, Clover. Um, a lot of that stuff sounded like it might have been against the law. Let it slide this time. 